Greetings, this is Rusty Dog. Hi Wiley Wilson, You're one of the first ones here. Uh, yeah, we're back. Yeah, 2.4 beta, finally here. And you can probably already hear there is some radio chatter that we can hear, which wasn't in the 2.3. Um, and I I've been reading through the change log, and they said that they'd improved some of the radio chatter and the traffic announcements and whatnot, but that we wouldn't notice a difference until later on. But it seems there are a couple of differences. Okay, <clears throat> so I suppose I'm going to have a quick flick through the uh, change log, but I'm going to need to get rid of this uh, chatter in the meantime. Uh, also, uh, I've changed the way the sound mixing is done on my OBS software. So if anybody's report, if anybody hears like the game is too loud or too, or not loud enough, you know, mixing with my voice, then let me know and I will adjust. I don't know how to get rid of these <laughs> short, short of muting the entire game. Or, or leaving the station. But this isn't the ship I want to be in. So some interesting changes in 2.4 beta from what I've seen. The, I have to admit the change log isn't as big as I expected, but I know that this isn't really the content update that will come uh, when 2.4 goes live. So there's going to be no beta testing with the Thargoid content, which makes sense uh, but also might leave the Thargoid content open to some bugs once it's released <clears throat> at least that's what I'm expecting um, but uh, Frontier are completely right in not releasing any Thargoid content because it would spoil it would spoil everything in the run up to the release by seeing it um, all in the beta so that's all good so no Thargoids in the two in the beta <coughs> thanks Wiley Wilson cheers man so okay in the change log you've probably seen I'm just gonna run over a couple of things uh, oh and there's some things that I haven't even looked at yet I've I downloaded this about I would say almost five hours ago and the only thing I did with it was uh, loaded up to see what ship I was in and where I was uh, to see how far back the save game was and it wasn't very far back at all <clears throat> so I had to make about three or four jumps to come here and that's it uh, everything else is sight unseen I haven't looked at anything I haven't looked at the new mission board nothing so I wanted to do that all in the live stream and if you know me you know that's how I work um, I don't know if there's any other live streams taking place at the same time as mine, um, but I normally do my streams on a Friday, but I wasn't going to wait another 24 hours. So, Hollow Me. That's had a bit of a, a touch-up, apparently, and if I can get in there, they finally, finally put some save slots on here. Save and load. There we go at the bottom. Brilliant. I don't know how many slots you get. I might give it a go and see. Oh, okay. One, two, three. Is that only three across there? Yeah. I don't know how many that will scroll down to. Um, but that's great. Now you can just change so I can have different looks <laughs> yeah that's gonna be handy um, so and they've added 12 new hairstyles I don't think that's going to affect my hollow me in particular um, but yeah uh, and they've got slots for eyewear and outfits so I actually think we're looking at <laughs> sunglasses um, where was it? What was it? Eyewear and outfits. Well, I'm not too fussed about the outfits, but the eyewear, is it a... I don't know where it is. 
That's good. Uh, accessories. Here we go. Oh, please tell me he's not going to get raybounds. Ah, okay. Now this leads just to something else. In the game extras, um, actually, it might not work here. They've implemented something where you can view the liveries that are on the game store from within the outfitting, but this isn't the outfitting, so I don't think that's going to do anything. <clears throat> but I believe this is sunglasses. So, yeah. Slater was on earlier. Slater or Plater? All oh, right. I know that I know that Elite uh, Elite. I keep getting these guys mixed up. <laughs> I know that Frontier were thinking about a live stream but ended up not doing it. Uh which is good, because I don't know whether that would have clashed with me. Hi, Fortini. I need to ask you something later. Um, yeah, about the power play. Um, yeah, Dave, I'm going to be coming to all that. <clears throat> so, okay, so that's that. Eyewear and, and outfits. So, great. So, they've, they've, they've done that. Brilliant. Okay. Synthesis. Well, let's take a look at this then. We have new synthesis. Oh yes, we do. This is great for exploration. Heat sinks. I don't know what's required. I'm going to find out. Limpets. Uh, chaff. Life support. Uh, SRB repair. Now, yeah. You can now do ship repair. Hull, hull and canopy via limpets. I think for a canopy... Limpets is a good thing, you know, because you might need it quick. But hull repair, I'm kind of disappointed that it's done with limpets, um, as opposed to having to land on a planet uh, and get your SRV out and repair it with the SRV using some kind of welding torch or something like that. I think limpets is a bit of a... it solves the problem. But it does it in a way that's convenient because the limpets were already in the game anyway. So, yeah, we can we can now do chaff. Oh, filament composites. Now, I've not seen those before. Compact composites. So here's something. Filament composites. I've got to find out where to get those from. Heat sinks require basic conductors, which I clearly haven't got any of and heat conduction wiring, and they require two each, okay. And life support, which will resupply your life support. So if you've got plenty of iron and nickel, which most of us kind of would, then, yeah, you, if you've only got, you can just now buy a seven minute life support and just keep replenishing it. <laughs> uh, now this has got some negative effects for PVP, I would think, because rather than um, you know, outfitting your ship in a specific way so you have a certain amount of heat sinks and chaps and whatnot. Um, you can probably go for the minimum amount now and just keep synthesizing. So anybody who's got all the, you know, tons of tons of these, um, to keep synthesizing more and more, might be in a more advantageous position. Limpets we have uh, resupply iron and tin. Clearly, uh, there's no. It's just basic. There's no. There's nothing else from that. There's nothing much more you can do there. SRB repair we had before. Uh, refuel and ammo restock. I think we ha had all those before. They've got some nice little icons beside them now, which is a good thing. But I, d I like that we can do heat sinks now, and I like that it's done from here, because that means on my other account where I'm actually close to Sagittarius A. I've just been there. Um, I don't have to dock anywhere in order to fit something in order to have heat sink repair. I can, I can, it's it's on my ship straight away. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have 2.4 beta on that account, so yeah. So there's that. Um, and when it comes to PvP, there's been some pretty big changes as well. For example, the ship rebuy penalty. It says when a player commits the crime of murder in PvP only, 
not PVE, an additional cost is added if they swap to a less expensive ship before paying legal costs during the rebuy flow. So none of this switching to a sidewinder and trying to get off with a small rebuy. It's not going to happen. Um, and also, if when a player commits the crime of murder in PvP only again, they receive an this is great. They receive an additional Pilots Federation bounty, and that bounty is valid in every jurisdiction except for Anarchy. I like that. I like that. I have to say. <laughs> so yeah, that's gonna. Although, if you have the credits, you know, you, it's not really going to matter too much, is it? You're going to pay your own, um, you're going to pay your own bounty and that stuff. Um, I'm just reading uh, Tango Peter One's message, always negative when the beta comes out. Well, people find bugs. I'm not negative, though. I'm, I quite like some of the changes on this. Um... They revamped the inbox, so, I mean, looking up here, um, I don't really have anything to, I mean, there's this, this is, this is um, different, it's got a, what the hell is that, sender, NJ, is that Toto or to do, weekly power bonus, um, so yeah, I left that message there because it was different, and I thought you you know may like to, might like to see it. Even the time it it's got a timestamp on it now, um, and I think there's I'm going to get to it in a minute. I just want to run down the uh, down the change log. I'm not going to do them all. Um, change missions have been revamped so they can be longer than two steps. Yeah, hull canopy repair, limpet controllers, blah blah blah. Yeah, great for exploration, but I don't have any on my ship that's out in the void so I'm screwed there you can preview game extras in outfitting okay let's take a look this is something that they're wanting us to um, test out so if we go into liveries okay that's not quite working then although something's not quite right there but I'm sure there's going to be patches coming along left, right and centre. Oh, nice! <clears throat> okay, so we can actually preview them and then if we don't have them, we can buy them. Because I certainly don't have these paint jobs. Does it tell you the ones you have? Yeah, I guess just the tick, right? And this one will take you to the game store. Okay, that's weird. Okay, that's good. Yeah. I wonder if it does the same with uh, ship IDs and decals and stuff like that. Mm. Yeah, there we go. So we got that. Uh, it's it's not very visible, um, but uh, that's great. You can now just <coughs> you can now just see them all. Good. <coughs> Shopping mode off. <laughs> shopping mode on I don't know what the difference is there but oh I guess it's so you can click on one and it it maybe doesn't it's shopping mode on I'm guessing you click on it it takes you to the to the game store that's cool <coughs> that's pretty cool um, now this is another thing that's good stored ships can now be sold from the rebuy screen to cover the rebuy cost so yeah, if you haven't, if you've just destroyed your sh uh, a ship and you haven't quite got enough money to for the rebuy, you can sell another ship in order to pay for it. I'm guessing that's optional. And yeah, a big change for me. I need. To, oh, I keep pressing escape to get out of this, and it's not. It's back, isn't it? Yeah. So a big change here with the um, route plotting. Big change. Uh, as many of you probably know, the route plotting has been slightly increased from 1,000 light years to 20,000 light years. Um, I must admit, I did try it when I was on my way back to Jameson, and 
it says root plotting is much faster, and yes it was. Um, considering the work it has to do to plot 20 light years, it was quick. I mean, I'm saying it took about probably 7-8 seconds, but that's fast considering what it had to do. Um, and if you're in a neutron star field or passing through neutron stars, you can include the neutron star boost in the jumps. So, for example, let's say you're plotting a thousand light year. Uh, let's make it five thousand light year um, route to a, a certain system. And on that route, there are five neutron stars. Well, you can. There should be an option that will allow you to turn on neutron star boost. Um, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure we can find it. FSD boost, use jet cone boost. Here we go. So we, we apply fastest routes and we use jet cones so that any time we come across a neutron star, I don't know, it doesn't mention about the white dwarf stars, but any time you come across one of these, it will factor in that you will um, be getting a boost from that and your next jump will probably be a couple of hundred light years. Um, but what's scary about this? <laughs> Um, is how many jumps. I I did one from, I think it was 17,000 light years, and it told me that it was like, I don't know, 1,300 jumps. So I'm um, here at Shinrata. So if we just, let's pull across to, I don't know how far this is. That's good, probably around 20, is it? Oh, look at that. Not bad. 19,000. Okay, let's put it to the test. So I'm, I want to go to, I want to go here. And there it is. It's available. Plot route. Think of all the possible combinations it has to go through. This is quick. I hope it's going to be this quick once 2.4 goes live. Now that's fast, I think. So whatever they've done to speed that up, they've done it really good. Because... <laughs> How many jumps have I just plotted? Uh, I don't have a massive jump range on this, it's 16, uh, but I've just plotted 1,418 jumps. Oh, and not only that, but I, it tells you when you're going to run out of fuel. And there it is, you've got this new icon, and that is your fuel star. So if you have a ship that's got a, oh, let's let's plot a route to say maybe, I don't know, I don't have much, I've only got half a tank of fuel in, so let's plot a route just to here, if only 69 light years away. So here's my, my route, and it seems I've only got one jump left. Let me come out of here and just stick some fuel in. I got nothing. You don't put fuel in there. There we go. So let's refuel that. Okay, let's do that again. All right, same thing. No, it's not. Okay, so there's my next jump. Then I can do that jump and that one. And this might not be the last jump I can make, but it's the last one that I can make before I run out of fuel. Does that make sense? No. Yeah, It. yes. I, what it means is I might have enough fuel to make the next jump, but the next jump might not be a scoopable star. And if it isn't, then you'll find this icon further back in the route. And this shows you your last scoopable star that you can get fuel from before you run out. As it happens, because the next one I can scoop from anyway, then this will be the limit, the natural limit. So, yeah, that basically tells you you refuel here or you're not making it to the next jump. <clears throat> so, that again, I look at this feature and I think, why wasn't this in from the start, you know? It's it's such a handy thing. Um, and it's, it even, you know, you can click on it and it says Cruces Sector, but when you're not clicked on it, let's see if I can bring it up, it tells you that that is your fuel star. Oh, there it is. Let me, hold on, bring it up again if I can. No, let me, get it, let me go down here and go back up. Oh, come on you. There we go, last chance to scoop fuel en route. So this, I don't know whether that's going to be um, 
let's say, a bit of a relief for the fuel ruts. <laughs> they might not get called out as much. Um, but yeah, brilliant. And honestly, the 20k, the 20k jump, that is, I mean, well, it's literally a, a, a 20 times increase um, over what we had before. So I don't know if I, yeah, I think I can go from Shinrata Desra to Colonia and just plot the, I think it's 18,000, isn't it, to Colonia? I think it depends where you're from. Where you're from? No, 22. Ah, damn. There are more bases here now, by the way. Um, they put more bases. And also on the uh, stations and the platforms, there's been an artwork pass to make them look different, better, possibly. Um, but this is going to be great, because from here to where I am, I just have to nip back just a little, I would say. And let's see where I am now. 17. So yeah, let's just do another plot, see if it keeps up. Whoa. Okay. It's quick. That's fast. Really fast. Yeah. So in the space of what was that? Three, four, uh, maybe four or five seconds? It's just plotted amongst all those stars, uh, almost 1,400 jumps. That's daunting, isn't it? I think it looks better when there's, uh, you know, 20 jumps and then another 20. <laughs> but when you see all the thousand, it's like, oh God, I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna get there. Um, but the fact that you can make use of the neutron stars, hold on now. If I plot that route, there's bound to be some neutron stars um, on that route, right? Wouldn't you say? Let's have a look. What was it? 1,000... Hold on. 1,300. 1,391. If I include jet cone boosts, it's not replotting anything. I wonder if I can tell it. No, I can't tell it to s stick to neutrons, can I? Oh, keep pressing that. Okay, it's gone down. It had. It was still plotting the route as we were doing it because it was on the screen there. So now, because I've, I've, it's gone down from 1,349 to 1,271. That's not a lot, though. Oh, yes. Yes, it is. So, uh, 49... Yeah, 32 jumps less. 32 jumps less by using neutron stars. It's managed to get me. But I'm going to run out of fuel here. <laughs> I'm going to run out of fuel there before I get to here. So, yeah, so there obviously are some neutron stars on that route. And um, it's just factored those in. I wonder why that was switched off again now. E economical routes, again, it's limited to the 1K as usual, which I think is reasonable because obviously economical routes, it, it, you, you have more, more, more hops along the way anyway. Um, but this is great. So yeah, you can use that and factor that in. Oh no, you can't do both. So... Yep, fast routes with jet cones. Oh, that's really cool. Right. Uh, additional NPC stations added to support infrastructure and trade routes for Colonia. So Colonia's got some new stuff and some star systems have been renamed there. Additional space stations have been added to the Pleiades region to support civilian expansion. And, of course... Beat Frontier being Frontier, added mysterious locations that we're not going to tell you about. Well, I think we might know one of them, and I'll come to that a little bit later. Added search and rescue contacts to stations across the galaxy. Well, I haven't even been in the mission board yet, so we might take a look at that in a second. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be any search and rescue contacts here, but uh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, salvage made salvage commodities legal to pick up from wreck sites 
so yeah, we're going to have search and rescue and salvage by the looks of it. In the missions, there is a oh, there is a line on the change log that says ship kills and actions to complete planetary hack and disable and disable missions will now only contribute to a single mission. This will be the earliest mission accepted. Now, mm, that sounds to me like if you stacked missions of the same type like this, uh, ship kills, uh, I guess mercenary missions, I don't know, uh, and those planetary hack missions, <coughs> quints, <coughs> um, that all the missions wouldn't complete at the same time, but only one at a time. Um, as for the ship kill missions, I'm guessing those are the mercenary ones where you attack in the conflict zones. But there's been somebody already on the forum saying that they took a planetary scan mission or a hack mission, I think, to two different missions to do different systems. They went to the first system, completed that one, and it completed both. So if that's the case, something's not working there or something's not right. Um, now the mission board, which I'm going to take a look at right now, says refactored mission selection to promote a wider selection of missions on a single board. Good. Refactored mission selection to promote a better spread of missions across factions. Good. And refactored mission selection to heavily promote selection of conflict missions, of course, because combat always gets the, uh, the lion's share, uh, for both sides involved. And refactored mission selection to more reliably generate permit, engineer and rank missions at eligible stations. Let's take a look. <clears throat> I do know that one of the changes is if you need to go to a system uh, in a mission, which you probably do, um, it will tell you the distance. So let's take a look. Because if, oh, look how many missions are available. Jeez. And new icons. And a very expensive boom, uh, very highly paid boom data delivery. Just across the, uh, just across the, to next door. So, okay. That's a lot of missions. And very, take down Pirate Lord, Brad Fowler. Okay. It was a different one. Boom. You see, I was looking at a video the other day of an old elite from the 80s and 90s. I can't remember which one it was now. And the there were so many more different missions. So many, uh, maybe not in quantity, but some di uh, varied types of missions. Uh, here we've got like, you know, mining, mining, then boom. And then another boom below that one. So they're just kind of, if they were in alphabetical order, you'd be seeing a lot of repeats, I reckon. Uh... Hi, David Kennedy. You only just clocked you on. <laughs> yeah. Plenty of missions to choose from here. I mean, check this out. I mean, here there's only one, two, three, four uh, factions. I keep see. I don't know why my brain does this, but I keep seeing this as a scroll bar that I want to push down and I can't. I know it's just the highlighted thing. So... 30 missions on offer, only 20 that, I'm that I can eligi eligibly take. Uh, so out of the ones I can take, I've got 50, 63 missions available to me. And that's just out of four. So I'm going to be checking this out. This is what I want to look at as well, because this is something that Frontier wants us to check out. Um, and this relates to going to an unknown... I don't know if it's an unknown base or an unknown structure or something like that, but it's relating to that. So I might have a go at that before this stream ends. So let's take a look. We've got definitely we've got more missions, which is very welcome. Because sitting here looking at six or seven and thinking, oh God, waiting. This might promote lesser um, board refreshing by instant swapping because you know, you've got more missions to begin with. So we can maybe take a look at taking down a pirate lord. I wouldn't mind having a go at that. 
Uh, but this isn't bad. I'm going to be in my Corvette for this one, though. Um, okay. So, for the first beta, this is okay. I'm, there's going to be change logs coming with further betas up until the uh, release, of course. And then the 2.4 public release will obviously have, I would say, a quite a sizable change log simply because of the Thargoid stuff. Um, now, here we go. Look, this. how cool is this? This is the new edition. When you get to your destination, it not only tells you how far the system is away, but how far the station is away from your jump in point. So if you see something that's like massive in light seconds and you think, oh, I don't have, you know, 20 minutes to waste getting to that station. You, you, you want to take on a mission where the station's nearby? Well, here you have it. I know that this is another thing where you think, why wasn't this implemented before now? That's brilliant. I, I, I like that. Uh, <laughs> look at how much time I've got to do this. They're in no rush for this, right? I mean, 2,485 weeks? Yeah, they're not in any rush uh, for this. <laughs> if it had just said one day, you know, but uh, really, uh, is that, I don't know if that's a bug or not. What's that in years? Can anyone work that out? Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. You'd think after so many weeks they would have they would have put it into years. Uh, oh, where is the controlling faction? <clears throat> uh, mm. Yes, I. I don't know. Good question. I don't know, maybe it's changed here. I don't know. I don't know. Let's take a look at boom time delivery. Let's let's just oh I know the ship's too large. Yeah, okay, it's not gonna tell me that one then. Sensitive supply operation. There's the system and it's one thousand six hundred light seconds from the arrival point. Brilliant. <clears throat> that saves you popping into the system map. Uh, time left. That's more realistic. 22 hours. Oh, you did it? 47 years? <laughs> that's fantastic. Uh, that's amazing. Yeah, so I've got 47 years to complete that mission. Do you think, do you think Frontier will still be developing the game uh, by then? Would you believe I'm good at maths? Yeah, why not? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, that's, that surely has to be a bug, right? <sighs> For that, you might as well just put infinity. You've got the rest of your life to do it. <clears throat> Let's see if we can find another one like... Yeah, you see, there's another one like this. I reckon that's a bug. And... Yeah, it's going to need sorting out. Let's take a look. Uh, see if there's any other delivery missions which isn't, uh, which isn't boom. Internal report delivery. Wow, they pay pretty well. Again, two of them from the same minor faction to the same destination, for the same amount of money. I wouldn't mind making a quick. Uh, what, 5.3 million? Well, I quite like this mission board. I'm just going to uh, accept these two. Or is it three? No, it's two. That, that one's a different place. Deliver 60 units of consumer technology in the name of democracy. I, yeah, this is good. Uh, and that's here, that's within the system, but it still tells you how far away it is from where, from the, now this isn't from where you are now, this isn't the distance from Jameson, this is the distance from the jump in point, I believe, yeah, from your arrival point, so 1532, if we take, 
next to map. Uh, do you know what I've... Uh, let me go back. Because I've messed that up. Um, Galen's inheritance. Okay. <coughs> Gotta find out where that is now. Uh, have I gone past it? Probably. There we go. Okay, so that's around Shinrata Desra B2. 1474. And it said what? 1532. Yeah, so I don't know. Maybe it is from Jameson then. I was led to believe that, that this is the distance from your jumping point. Unless that changes when you're inside the, uh, the system. Fine on failure. Okay. <clears throat> so definitely a much improved mission board. Uh, in terms of more diverse missions, I suppose... <clears throat> I don't know if that's the case. There's lots of the similar missions here. So I'm not sure whether they're, they're more diverse. <clears throat> you see, there's a lot of repetition here. Internal, internal, mine, internal, internal, internal. Donate, donate, mine. So diversity, I don't, I'm not really seeing it. But there's definitely more. So they've added, yeah, so it's it's a step in the right direction, I suppose. Is there any more missions to LFT? Yeah, there's another one. Um, okay. <coughs> and here is the search and rescue agent. I can't seem to click on it, though. I got that one. I got that one. Oh, let me just claim my uh, salary for doing nothing. And here we go. Items needed. Okay. Now, I don't know why these aren't highlighted, unless you have to have them. So if you find anything... Hostage. If you find any any of this stuff, maybe in USSs, I'm, I'm, if I see if I can pick one up, um, some wreckage or an occupied escape pod, bring it back here, and then maybe if I have an occupied escape pod, this will light up. There are a lot of missing people out there. I hope you can help us find out what happened to them. Please hand in any items you find. Okay. So you basically click on that, click on donate, and what you get for that, I do not know. So <clears throat> that's a new feature right there. Uh, in terms of combat and stuff like that, and I, there's not really much going on. So I, you know, I couldn't really take a ship out there and see anything different, but there was a change where milit some military NPCs uh, would leave the docking bay without any weapons, and that's been fixed. Uh, shooting capital ships where they are the bad guys no longer gives you a bounty. I've never had that happen to me before, to be honest, but uh, <coughs> seemingly it was in the game. Um, what else? Trigger happy NPCs will now only shoot missiles once the target shields have dropped. That will be interesting to see that. Uh, uh, and this, I've been hearing about this, fix the falling skimmer issue. I've heard about this. Skimmers were just dropping out of the... <laughs> dropping from above at uh, base stations and hitting players' ships and destroying them. Uh, <laughs> Batteries run out, so yeah, well, that's been fixed. Uh, no, the oh, yeah, that's just player journals fixed. And, uh, I'm just reading through the uh, various outfitting items have had their descriptions fixed. Okay, fix the issue where well, livery, uh, okay, that's nothing major. Fix an issue. You can find all the change log on the uh, forum, by the on the Frontier forum, obviously. Um, there's nothing here that's standing out. There's been a few ship changes, uh, texture changes, so that they fit better with the ship kits. Uh, Anaconda's had a few touches. Uh, text overlay with SRV, stability fixes, stations and outposts. Outpost weapons, 
platforms has been completely updated with new art. Okay, well if we want to see that, I can't take the... Um, if I want to land at one, I can't take the Corvette, so that's out. All outposts have had an art pass to fix minor issues to improve visuals. All outposts. Okay, well we'll visit an outpost then. Modular stations have had an art pass, blah 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 blah. Physics mesh optimizations in the newer stations, in newer station interiors to improve frame rates. So lots of uh, fixes there with the uh, um, with the stations. So I'm just going to switch to a ship that can uh, complete these missions and also land on a outpost, and that would be this. <coughs> oh, yes. Hey, J. Off, how are you doing? Um, welcome to the stream. There's another fix that's occurred in the galaxy map since 2.3 and it wasn't mentioned in the changelog at least I didn't see it but I'm so glad that they fixed it they broke it in 2.3 or, or at least one of the updates in 2.3 it was broken now it seemingly is fixed and I'm going to show you what that is because we've always been able to do it and in 2.3 it just went nuts and that is when you zoom out anything that's got an icon on it you can still select in 2.3 this got broke if you go into two, your 2.3 now you can't do this um, you had to go in and then do all of this stuff to try and get to the and it was annoying to say the least now you can zoom out and then you go, okay, what's this system here? And there it is, Desiat. So that's been fixed. Thank... Yeah. So I'm really pleased. That's, that's a big thing for me because that was such a pain. Um, you know, you could be here and see a, a green icon. Uh, that you, you know, you say, oh, oh, I've got a friend in, in my group. Who's that? And, and you can't click on the bloody icon so you've got to zoom in and go over here and then you, you flick it round and you find that you're a mile away that's been that's been uh, sorted now right where's my mission thing route unavailable okay let's try that there we go right let's take off you might notice uh, some difference in the Air traffic, air traffic, I can't believe I said air, in the traffic control. Um, <clears throat> and once again, in the beta, they did this in the 2.3 beta and then put it back for in the live. They've changed the traffic controller. So I think that the woman, who the Indian woman who does the voice uh, at Jameson, I think she just goes on holiday every time there's a beta. And now they've got some temp filling in. So... Here we go. What am I doing here? Uh, two internal delivery reports. Uh, that's at Dirch, oh, Dirich, Dirichlet Depot. And I bet the other one's different. No, it's not. Great. See? Different voice. So now we've got some volume. Um, let me know again if the if the sound is too loud, too low, or whatever. Wow, this is feels really weird, guys. Not being on Elite for a while. Okay, I got through. Yeah, after not being. Or a maybe slightly improved uh, jump tunnel just got a Twitter message yeah uh, it would, would be an improved um, jump tunnel but it's unfortunately it's exactly the same so you have left the no fire zone we hope to see you again commander aye aye <laughs> mic off no my mic is on 
Yep. Yep, Mike is on here. I've just seen Mike off. Is that me? <coughs> Now is that... Oh, okay. Oh, now then. I've just clicked the wrong thing there. Yeah, okay. Well, if you didn't interrupt me, I'm... Did that actually go there? No, it didn't. So what's going on? That 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 didn't click. Whoops. Wrong map. Let's try that again. No, there's no no route. There we go. Okay. <coughs> oh, it must have been some lag. Oh, I. <coughs> well, it might have been that. Yeah. Uh, well, no, it's not that. It's on my iPad. No, 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 no. I don't know what that was. Uh, yeah, I'm curious to check these signal sources now because, in case I can pick up some something that the search and rescue is it search and rescue? Yeah, whatever those guys that they might want. Um, well. <coughs> Like I said, the change log isn't massive, but there are definitely some very, very welcome changes. Um, explorers are going to just love that the 20k route plotting, including neutron stars. Um, I'm, there's probably a reason. I don't know whether they've n not done the white dwarfs because they only they only uh, is it double or triple your jump range. Double, isn't it? Or fifty? No, fifty percent, something like that. Yeah, you get fifty percent added on or something. I've been too long away from Elite to remember. <laughs> That's my excuse. So maybe it's not enough of a difference to to factor that in. Uh, but if, yeah, if you like neutron star jumping, or if you're in a neutron field, it will not only plot you the route through there, but it will include the boost, which is fantastic. But I'm going to have to wait until 2.4 comes out before I can use that on my other account, because I don't have the season pass on my other on my other account, unfortunately. I'm coming in a bit too quick. Oh, okay. I told you. Completely messed that up. Can I actually say I'm a bit rusty? Yeah, I think I can get away with saying that. Go on, hurry up and cool down. So, I'll tell you what, while I'm here, while I'm here in normal space, I'm going to set up a chaff and synthesize another one and see what happens whether it just appears does it just refill one or oh damn it I don't <laughs> the one thing I don't have the resources for where the hell do you find those compact composites maybe in obviously I would say probably in USS's but what type it's going to be interesting to find that out and we have three types Oh, how many reloads? Okay. So that's bonus plus two second duration. I don't know what the difference between these two are then. Bonus plus two seconds. So you get two seconds extra chaff there if you have any thermic alloys. These two are the same, so I'm not sure why that is. I mean, if you've got those ingredients, you'd go for premium. Yeah, that's not quite right. I've got a feeling this should say like one second. Two seconds isn't a lot though, but heat sinks, I can't do those either. Is there anything I can do? Life support, resupply. Hmm. I wonder if that'll work if I just turn it off. 
I'll need to get somebody to come and shoot my canopy out. Um, how do you do... Where's the hull repair or ship repair? Our limpets. Okay, I'm going to have a look at that later on. We'll grab some repair limpets and uh, repair the hull. See what, what's going on there. Does the map show all scoopable stars along your route? Um, I don't think anything's changed there, but you can certainly have your route so it only in includes um, scoopable stars. <coughs> but no, the new feature only shows the last scoopable star that you can be at. And I'm too high above, aren't I? Yeah, there it is. Okay. This, I don't know whether this might be possible, we'll see. Oh, just. Do you reckon I can get in? <laughs> right on the limit there. Yeah, of course, when you plot your route, you can just choose uh, scoopable stars only by choosing KGB foam stars and you're good to go. KGB foam plus neutron stars, obviously. And then you can't come across a non-scoopable star. Right, so... Well, yeah, okay. Okay. I would have thought that message about the gravitational forces would only have come into effect if it was something like over a G, but this is 0.1, so I don't know if I needed a warning about that, but it's it's always good to remember because it, it reminds me to look down at the G, at the G meter thing, so it's probably something I would have, I have forgotten in the past to do, and yeah. This is what happens when you don't play Elite for a while, you get a little bit uh, rusty. Heading is good. Throttle down to approach speed. Okay, now, now you're just being uh, my instructor. I, what, what I'd have noticed is if when exiting the um, through the mail slot of the uh, stations uh, that there's more I don't know what to call it smoke yeah whatever mist in the in the mail slot itself at least it seems to me there is so yeah I'm pleased to receive you too so um, I, they say there's been art, art passes on everything. Um, probably on the platforms, as the actual platforms is going to be more noticeable. So we'll try and visit one at some point. Mm, okay. <coughs> so let's uh, hand these missions in. I'll just do a quick refuel and restock. And... I've got that one. Okay, so that looks all kind of the same. I did get my extra uh, reward because I did it within the, the time. And again, 22 missions, 16, 20, 10, 10, 13. There seems to be, I mean, geez. If you just sat here and just go, yeah, take that one, take that one, and you just took all of these and just travelled around, look, they're all really close by. Look how much money you can make. Mm. <clears throat> Is it this much because of my rank, though, or like if you were a new, if you were a newbie, would you be seeing these numbers? I'm hoping. I'm, uh, that's. I'm hoping not because that's like. Yeah, it's legally get getting which quick isn't it <laughs> maybe frontier are going some way towards 
uh, increase of wealth on a slightly quicker scale than before because certainly I, I took if I take these it'll I could just visit Nunez and B886 and earn more money in the same time frame as like combat for example I, I would earn less doing combat in the same time frame and I'm getting commodities I wonder if I wonder if on the synthesis on the chaff the compact composites and the filament composites are available as um, mission rewards. Um, I'm just going to have a quick look through some missions where they offer material material rewards. Ah, missed it. Exquisite focus crystals. Ooh, aren't they supposed to be quite rare? I don't know what to do with them now. Um, yeah. I'm with you, JR. The 20,000 light year thing is awesome. And the fact that they've managed to optimize it so that it's you don't have to wait half an hour for it to plot that. Um, we're going to need a lot more credits when we get destroyed by the Thargoids. Yeah, fair point. <laughs> yeah, that's coming. I think, I think we're all going to die. Um, clearly, no matter what ship, no matter what weapons you have now, isn't going to uh, probably make a dent which is why new weapons will be coming along to deal with the Thargoids probably organic weapons or uh, I don't know what but it's gonna have to be something different however for me when I um, see my first Thargoid I'm not gonna be the one to attack first they might be nice little friendly pets, like the Tribbles. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to be one of those that uh, fire first and ask questions later. That's not going to be me. Um, hi, Kiwi guy. Welcome, man. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, my, I'm going to be peaceful with the Thargoids until they open fire. And then I'm going to run away. Because <laughs> unless I've got the proper weapons, but you're not going to see that in the beta either. So exquisite focus crystals, yeah, okay. I don't know how rare they are, but as we're only in the beta, irregular emissions. Oh, uh, I could do with one of those. But in the main game, not this one. What's this one? Oh, that is that the same one? No, we've got two separate missions offering cracked industrial firmware. What a pity I hate mining. Specialized legacy. Okay. None of the composites so far, though. Modified embedded. So all the different firmwares are available. As missions exquisite focus crystals again so th yeah they're not as rare as they were then uh, let's have a look materials two biotech conductors precipitated alloys so it could be that those uh, those new composites are available in certain USSs um, Oh, okay, mechanical scrap. Um, but which ones? Yeah. Well, we're going to have to experiment to find out. Biotech conductors. And last... Oh, that's is that the same one as this one? No, two different ones. Okay. Right. Um... Let me just take a look at what I have here. I don't think I've got space. Weapon color purple. I don't think I've got space to put. Okay, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. I can take get rid of a cargo rack. Okay, so let's go into outfitting. Yeah. 
the estimated distance from your jumping point is really good. <coughs> Mind you, yeah, you just that's a good point. Estimated, uh, which means that would probably account for the difference in the two figures that we saw um, on the system map and on the mission information. Isaac, welcome, sir. Where have I been hiding? Yeah, you know where. <laughs> oh, wherever there's peace. <laughs> and certainly not in this galaxy. Uh, okay, so let's take a look in the optionals. Uh, I don't think I've got any space here, but I'm, I'll certainly make some. I'll get rid of a cargo. Because what I do to these ships here doesn't make a damn bit of difference. So... Let's browse the collection limpets. Uh, what are we looking at then? Repair limpets? I probably should have done this at um, Hatchbreaker limpets. Yeah, I should have done this at Jameson because they've got everything there. We might have to go back and go there. Yeah, collect the limpets. I'm guessing it's going to be repair limpets or hull repair limpets, something like that. So we'll nip back to Jameson and check it out, see if it's there. And then I'm going to come and deliberately dis uh, damage my ship and then we're going to repair it with a limpet. I'm, I, I'm curious to see whether you can um, do it while landed on a planet um, as well as in space because it has to drop out of the cargo hatch, right? Or or somewhere underneath there so you probably can't do it while you're landed you may only be able to repair the hull while you're in space I don't really know but we're going to find out so obviously I'm not going to run out of fuel so we don't need that icon Okay, so let's just, well, we'll just go straight up, I guess. <laughs> Clear of the port. Flight control signing off. Seem a bit more friendly there. So, it appears that Frenzy have got some uh, new audio coming at some point, or a new way to do it. Um, because they've implemented the traffic control audio in a different way or the way it gets triggered so maybe there are some messages new messages coming up that interact with well actually some of them already do I was gonna say they interact with you and your ship but uh, they kind of already do don't they like if you're going too fast or if you haven't put your landing gear down it interacts with you on that level but uh, they have made a point of saying more awesomeness is coming on that, so... And that was their words, more or less, so it's that's going to be interesting. Mm, I'm just trying to find it in the changelog while I'm getting out of this... gravity thing. Uh, audio, audio, audio... Mm. No, I can't see it. So we'll nip back to Jameson and grab some of these new limpets. Um, I. I don't know, I think they'll just be repair limpets, right? You're not going to have like, um, did I pick Jameson Base? Okay, thanks. Um, yeah, you're not going to have, a, or are you going to have a, a limpet for the canopy and one for the hull? I don't think so, right? Just a repair, just a repair limpet and if your, if your um, canopy is out then It'll fix it. Oh, where am I going? I'd better be careful with this. I'm going to have to rename one of them. 
I'm going to call this Laurie Jameson headquarters at the front so it goes under the L's because otherwise I'm going to be um, doing that a lot. Yeah. Okay, so let's pick Jameson Memorial, which is somewhere. It always used to be on that first page until they added all those beacons. I am interested in trying to stack a couple of massacre missions together. Um, you know, let's say you have one where it says you kill kill eight ships, and you have another mission that says kill eight ships. And then if I go into a conflict zone and kill a ship, is the earlier mission going to start counting first? So I literally have to kill 16 ships and not eight this time. Um, that's how it should be, really. Yeah, yes, it will take longer, but that is that's how it should be. And I hope that is how it is. Uh, but yeah. Caught some of extreme money so earplugs at the ready guys what what is what does that mean is he loud proper full-blown nutter <laughs> I've not seen this guy I will check it out I was I would imagine that there's plenty of people streaming this today right I would imagine I, I don't know except perhaps the one who never streams You've maybe noticed that I've turned off orbit lines. I've had them off for a while. Um, I've decided I don't need them anymore. Since the stations are getting lined up and I can quite readily scoop from a star without getting in too close. So yeah, I don't really need a... I haven't found a use for them in a while. So, And I've certainly lined up Jemison okay more or less ish the only sh hold on the only um ship I don't mind what direction I'm coming in at into a, one of these ports uh, star ports is my courier because it only takes me a couple of seconds to get to the front anyway <laughs> so I don't mind if I'm if I jump in and then I'm facing the back of the station it really doesn't matter just one boost and yeah she's there not so in a Corvette or well this thing Come on, get down. So mission board, better. Galaxy map, better and fixed. So, okay, let's have a look. Yamex, Plater and Ricardo's gaming channel. I'll, I'll check them out. I'll check them out. It's interesting to see what other people think and find out about it because I'm sure they I won't cover everything. Um, but is 2.4 going to be enough to bring me back into the regular gaming world of Elite? Because I've kind of dropped off the Elite map lately because 2.3 just I just got bored with it, you know, the grind. Um, I don't know if there's enough content in the beta so far, but there are some features in it which I want to flesh out and have a play around with. So, while certainly while the beta's ongoing, I'm going to be on it. And certainly when 2.4 is released um, in full, uh, yeah, I'm still going to be hanging around. So, maybe this is the beginning of my return to Elite Dangerous. So let's see. I've, I've never been at a stage with Elite Dangerous before where I felt, you know, I can be away from it for two weeks, three weeks and not 
want to or not yeah not have the yearning to to go on it you know um but yeah so that just tells me that frontier is maybe not doing something quite right 2.3 was a disappointment anyway let's face it okay so let's take a look repel limpet standardized storage blah, 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 blah. okay so what do they go up to well this is a, a slot 5 and this goes up to 5 so let's have a look at this one maximum active limpets 3 now I wonder if you get damage limpet lifetime okay repair capacity 310 I don't know what the hell that means if my hull is down to 56% what does 310 repair capacity do well let's find out now you have an another icon here look and it looks like it means supports multi crew so when you get this little go away when you get this icon it means it's something that the multi crew uh, can use okay a nice little addition there handy I don't really use multi crew but that's I, I guess that's going to be handy so let's let's buy this and strip out uh, cargo now we're gonna have to buy some limpets and then I'm gonna have to think of a way to um, damage the ship uh, and just crash it into the station I think uh, no point repairing <laughs> Yeah. Uh, okay, so... Oh, why did I go here? Right, so... Uh, I don't know what I'm going to take. 20. Because I, it's not... I, I'm, I'm not going to get my canopy knocked out unless I'm in combat. So the only way that can happen is if I go in combat and let a, an NPC take out my canopy. But at the same time, I don't want them to disable me so I can't get away. I want to be in a position where I can get away with a broken canopy. And the way to do that is to fly a vulture. Right, lads? Eh? <laughs> yeah, the vulture. The, the little punchy ship with the canopy made of nothing. Oh, I need to fire group this, don't I? Okay, well, repair limpet. Okay, let's just put it on. Well, I've got no choice. I have to create a new one. So we'll pop it there. And fire group five, because I have one and two on everything. And the interdictor can go there too. Uh, on one, doesn't matter. Can you use a limpet on yourself? No, because it would probably smack you in the face. Uh, no, I don't know. No, you can't. It's not. It's not like a a mechanical. Oh, you mean when you say yourself? Do you mean yourself as a pilot? Um, yes, I'm assuming yes. Uh, y yourself as a ship? Yes, because that would be the whole point, right? Because I want to be exploring 20,000 light years away and be able to repair any hull damage while I'm out there. There's no point in me carrying it to repair other people. So yes, this must be for yourself. And it appears I already have some hull damage because I had that um, unsuccessful glide. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring my shields down. Okay, so no shields. So, in other words, I'm not going to need a very big uh, hit to do this. So I just need to be a little bit careful. Yeah, I don't. I, that was a mistake. Okay, so we'll just give it a little bit of a smack, and uh, I'll just use my manoeuvring thrusters to do that. Watch me blow up. Okay, perfect. 61. That's good. 
Right then. So now what I'm going to do is bring the shields back online again. And we'll just bring it to a stop. If I can get it, if I can get it shown on the vanity camera, um, we can't use him in battle though. Well, I'd, um, you'd have to be pretty damn quick though, wouldn't you? Is it that you can't, or that they just wouldn't? Hmm. This concept may make the remorka busted. I don't know what that means. I don't know what the remorka is. Okay, so let's try and self prepare then. Uh, okay, so we need to switch to primary five. Out of range. Right. If you cannot self prepare, then this is pointless. If this is just to repair other people, then that's just nuts. Because the whole point of hull repair is that you can repair your own hull when you're out in the void, all alone, thousands and thousands of light years away from home. Surely that's the whole damn point. You have the station targeted. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah, thank you, Delta. Yeah. And this is why you don't stop playing Elite Dangerous, otherwise you look like a newbie. Right, so... I'm going to go out and uh, let me just keep that on the screen for a moment and see if we can see this. So I'm going to now enable ship control and fire. Well, there it goes. It just attached itself to my ship. Uh, let me just detach the camera. I don't think you can actually see it doing anything, but I had 60, 61% damage. This is going to go all the way. It's going to repair everything. And we've got a little blue line there with some flames coming out there. Oh, thank God. See, it ha you had to self-heal. It would have it would have made no sense otherwise, because we've already got healing healing beams. It, it wouldn't have made sense to have limpets that couldn't self-repair. Okay, so if we look where it is, it's about at, at the seven o'clock position now. So it looks like, at least with the limpets I have, that that whole circle there represented a hundred percent or maybe 99% uh, repair capability. 100% would be stupid because you'd already be destroyed. But it, if you're a member of the 1% club, now what if I was to be boosting while it was while this was happening? You know, I'm moving around. Can the repair limpet um, repair me while I'm on the move? And keep up because they certainly could keep up with you when you're uh, when you're mining so let's take a look Come on. 
I'm trying to keep up with the movement as well. There we go. I'm trying to remember the speed I went in last time and... Okay, 40. I want to see if I can just do a little bit more damage, but not obviously not too much. Just do a little gentle nudge now. Thankfully the proximity warning helps. Oof. Okay, 28. Right, so I'm going to I'm going to dispatch another um repair thing and I'm going to be on the move. So a full speed ahead and launch and boost. Oh it's trying to follow me and it's catching up. Bang, done it. Even though I boosted to over 400 it it caught up with me and instantly locked on so yeah. So you could be boosting away in combat trying to avoid I don't I don't see why you can't do this in combat. Hey goat man and Commander Snake uh, and hi to anybody I haven't said hi to already. I doubt you can fix No, a super cruise I would say not. No, you I, you would have to do it in normal space. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, I'm already at 60% from 28, and it's halfway done, so, yeah. Now, on the smaller limpets, like the Class 2s and the Class 1s, I'm guessing that that circle is going to fill up faster, maybe. And uh, certainly, uh, with a Class... Th uh, what have I got? Class 5? Um, certainly, you only need the one. I know you can have three. If I have... If I send another one out, will it get repaired twice as quick? Oh, another limpet is... no. So you can't attach two and have twice the repair rate. No. Another limpet is already attached, limpet destructing. So, there you go. You can't do that. Okay, so... That went from 25, sorry, 28 to 95. So it didn't go all the way. So if I send another one out now, it's just going to be wasted. Just to do 5%, it's going to be a waste. Hmm. So this is going to really change outfitting, isn't it? Because if you're in. Yeah, I think a lot of ships are going to be running with this, even if like you're in PvP or PvE or something, and your hull gets damaged. For example, in a has res or a conflict zone, you can find a quiet spot and repair your hull and carry on. You don't have to return to base unless you need to rearm. But if you're carrying a ship full of lasers, you can sit in a conflict zone until until you drop dead, I suppose. Uh, wow. Interesting, eh? Okay, cool. So it looks like from from joining the one percent club in the hull, it would only take two limpets of, of class five to repair you back to normal. And I'm quite a distance from the station. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that one of the worst things when you're exploring and you know you you have a destination set, for example, Sagittarius A. So let's say roughly 25,000 light years from the bubble or to give or take. Um, and you are 16, um, I don't know, let's say 7,000 light years in 
<clears throat> and you've got another, you know, you've got another 18,000 to go. Or 17,000, 18,000, whatever. 18, yeah. And you you get some hull damage from, say, a bad, a bad glide or heavy hit on a planet's surface from heavy gravity. Um, now you can fix it. As long as you don't destroy your ship out there, you can fix it. And you can replenish your heat sinks if you have the correct uh, materials. And you can replenish your chaff. So... In a, in a, and what if you couple that with the changes to the route planning, we can definitely say that in 2.4 beta, exploration has got some attention. Um, and that's great. And of course, the whole repair can be used in any scenario. It doesn't have to be exploration. You can be in the bubble trading and just, just have survived uh, an attack from a pirate. And then, you know, you jump to a quiet spot and repair your hull and carry on. You don't have to dock for repairs. So, yeah, well done, Frontier. Request approved. Clear to land at docking bay one one. I'm coming in. Oh, there's that's there's the mist. By the way, I don't know if you guys caught that. Let me just. Uh, Is there more mist there than there used to be? Because I don't know whether it's just because I've been away for three weeks that I haven't noticed, but it looks like there's more mist there. I mean, I, I noticed it, it, and it's pretty cool actually. But there's more there than usual, right? Yeah, I'm not, I, I'm pretty sure, I'm not going crazy. And I should really enable my shield, but. Oh, I want to test something here. Let me just crunch down on this landing pad, but not too much. I don't want to blow up. Okay, I down to 88. Oh. Right. Confirmed contact. Commence power down. Station services are okay. I've obviously you can't you can't bring the repair Safety limpet out from here. But I wonder if you can do it on a planet. Well, I guess we'll have to find out, right? So I've already got some hull damage, so I'm kind of happy with that. So. Let me just go to the nearest planet. So we're here. So the nearest landable is this one. Oops, I keep pressing this second one. I'm so used to just pressing that. This facility if there's any um, USSs along the way, I will um, check them out, see if we can find any of these composites. So. Look at this, and you can even resupply limpets. So you can just buy maybe 10 or something like that as you... But look at the cost. 10 iron and 10 tin. I've only got two reloads. Oh, that's quite a... But when it says resupply, how many is it resupplying? <laughs> like if I only bought 20, does it resupply the 20? Well, I will, we'll find out. I will run out, and I'll run out of limpets, and then uh, we'll do a resupply and see how many. Um, if it's just the one, that's a bit harsh. 10 iron and 10 nickel for just the one. Because that means if you got explore, exploring, you, you'd have to carry a lot of it.
Uh, what mats do you need to synth limpets? Yeah, there you go. Iron and tin. But ten of them. I mean, I've got 27 irons and 22 tins, and... Yeah, I've only got two reloads. <laughs> That's not, not good. Basic conductors, yeah, you can get hold of those. This is the one I'm interested in. Compact composites and filament composites. Yeah, 10 each, it's pretty heavy, isn't it? Yeah, I reckon we're going to need hull repair with the Thargoids. You're right. <laughs> yeah. There's going to be a lot of... Uh, well, I don't know, maybe. On the forum, people are going to be saying, I just jumped into this system. There was a Thargoid. I never even had a chance to react. One, f one blast, and he blew me out of the sky. P.S. I was in an eagle. Uh, can you abandon the limpets you have to see how many it crafts? I can, but I'm not going to do that uh, yet because I want to test something at Shinra to Desra A1. But yes, I'll be doing that. Oh, it makes four limpets? Oh, Dave, spoiler alert! <laughs> Just kidding. So, ten... Okay, so you've got... Hmm... I wonder why they couldn't apportion that in a way that you could just make like, you know, two tin and two iron per limpet. You know what I mean? That you have to now have four of them. But okay. Four limpets. Yeah, and if you're exploring, you shouldn't really need to repair your hull that often. Sometimes, you know, you can go to Sagittarius A and back and never need it. If you're if you're very careful. Um, so four limpets, yeah, should be enough. I think, on balance, it's probably fair. Because if you're in the bubble, then you're just you can buy limpets from wherever anyway. So it's not really an issue. You don't need the iron. But if you're going exploring, then yeah, have have a I don't know, maybe have 20 tin and 20 iron, so you've got at least uh, two refills. And then you... Whereas, th on with my suggestion, where you use your SRV, and you have to land on a, on a planet, you have to get the SRV out, and you can scout for materials, like, let's say, tin and iron, or tin and... Gera uh, Geranium, God, <laughs> yeah, whatever. Uh, two, like, not rare, but it, m not common either, you know, but two materials that you'd have to uh, synthesize to repair your hull with a welding laser that's attached to the SRV, and that way there's no danger of running out, because you will eventually find a planet that's got your materials on it. Um, and it makes sense to go out onto the planet's surface and to find things, kind of to craft them into in, into um, something that will repair your ship without relying on, on the limiting factor of how many limpets you're carrying. So what they've done to get around it is made limpets synthesizable. But the cost is pretty heavy, but... Mm. It, it is pretty heavy, but it's, if you think about it, it's okay. How work repair limpets? Well, currently we know that they work by firing them off while you're in space, uh, in normal space, and you can be boosting around and they'll still catch up with you. Because now I'm curious whether the limpets will catch my courier, boosting to seven 
190 meters per second. It caught it caught this thing boosting to 420 or something, whatever it is. It caught this up very quickly. But if it can repair my my courier on the move, then you, you, yeah, then you're okay. So I don't need to bang this thing on the floor because I've already got some damage. So I'm going to try not to do that. A two when will 2.4 come out? That this is a thing no one ever really knows. It's they, they're going to go through a few patches, isn't it? Normally, like I don't know, it could be up to a month, I suppose, a couple of weeks, three weeks, a month. So what are we now? 17th of August. I don't know, mid-September. But that's pure guesswork. Right, can you repair while you're landed? I'm going to guess that you can't, which is a shame. Am I? Yes, I am below the required height. I just need to find a parking spot. There we go. This is a spot that's not for parents and kids, so we can land here. And again, yeah, you can't, you can't bring the repair limpet out when you're landed. I can switch through the fire groups, but yeah, there it is, but I'm pressing the button and nothing's happening. So let me just take off a few meters. Okay. Yeah, and I'm what? I'm 10 meters off the ground and it's done it. I can do this. I don't think you can actually see it doing it. Oh, what am I doing? I don't think you can see it doing anything. I don't think so. No, it kind of just... What the hell is that? It's dropping. Okay. <laughs> That's the limpet dying. It looks like two Daleks have just hit the, the, the ground there. That was pretty cool. Uh, other way. Pull the joystick the other way. There you go. And tip it. Tip. No, no, no. The other way. The other way. Uh, let's see if we can see that again. We just gain a bit of height. There we go. There. Stop. 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 Uh, this is really weird for me. Okay. Let's fire, fire another one. Up. Oh. You don't see it attached to the ship or anything, but when it's finished, it just blows itself up and bang. <laughs> That's cool. Right, how many how many more have we got left then? Eleven. So, oh, I guess I can just ditch them, right? Can I? Yeah. Okay. So we're out Olympics. And let's synthesize, let's do, do one reload. Done. I've just spent 10 iron and 10 tin. 10 iron is easy to get. Tin, eh, not so much. Because look, the, the iron is, is uh, the iron is very common, as you can see, by the one leaf. And the tin is not, so you need to rely on the herald on the heralds, I think, from the uh, engineers. I knew I'd get it in the end. Okay, so limpets. There we go. Indeed, it is four limpets per repair, and four will repair you from well, at least with. I don't know what the difference with the class 5 or whether it'll do the same with class 3 but 
I only need two limpets to get me from 1% all the way to the top so I can fully repair twice where are you going? I was trying to target this stuff that I'd left behind and see if I could target it yeah they haven't reappeared again as white dots doesn't that look different is it just me or that one that's closest to us looks different what the hell's all this oh yeah I just jettisoned all my ah right they're unused limpets so they're still in the containers and these are used ones okay makes sense cool I like that so no ground repair and you can see where it says on my on the whole percentage it says a hundred percent and above it you've got that blue line with the flames what's that is that the fact that I'm carrying repair limpets or something I wonder what that signifies okay don't know As we escape to victory here. <laughs> yeah, quit littering. Imagine. Uh, the, yeah. One of the Elite games, uh, I think it was Elite 2, if you dropped litter, or if you, yeah, if you dropped stuff in space, you were fine for it. If you were seen. I don't suppose they have increased the data and material storage. I'm going to say no because it was not in the change log and that would have been clearly visible. 1,500. But I think if you are... Um, what's the word? If you're efficient with your materials and stuff, I think it's plenty. I mean, I'm nearing my 1,000, but I was collecting um, high quantities of certain ones to do uh, for certain for a reason I can't remember but I was collecting lots of them oh it, obviously it was for um, like the reason I've got this much is obviously for engineer upgrades but I'm not quite sure what like proto heat radiators yeah I was trying to collect loads of these because a certain engineer upgrade I was after I wanted to have lots of rolls on it but I really generally don't need that many and I could probably get get it down to about 750 700 capacity so I if they increase it brilliant but I don't have a need for it uh, this kind of runs out more than the materials when you're scanning stuff and you don't realize so are we up for a, uh, I can't think what else to, to test now unless we're just up for a bit of combat but if I do it in the Corvette then I'm not going to get a chance to hull repair am I because it, it's the shields are never going to go down <laughs> although they might now I haven't been on it for a while I'm just reading through some of these changes to see if there's anything that I can demonstrate here Uh, Andy K. Hey man, yeah, a bit late, but don't worry. At my level of the game, at my level of the game, limited module storage is a real headache. Well, uh, it's going to be a real challenge with extra modules, yeah, but at the same time, I think the storage is always going to be limited. I, it's not really, it doesn't, it's not really realistic to offer unlimited storage I don't think because it's just uh, where am I going um, unlimited just isn't realistic I guess they could double it perhaps so we can have uh, 2,000 materials and a thousand data but the more we have the more we're gonna fill it up and we'll, we'll fill that up as well and then we'll want more again But I'll tell you what, if they're going to do 
stuff like uh, ten, ten tins and ten bloody irons. <laughs> That's. I wonder. Yeah. I wonder what. There's no other synthesis or even a, like anything. Even in the days of the old engineers, when they used to ask for. Remember the where they had the audacity to ask for two of something. Remember those days. And then it all got shot down to just one of whatever, uh, which thankfully does take away a lot of the grind. Um, but nothing comes close to asking for ten, ten and ten. But considering how much a limpet will repair, it's reasonable. The lower class limpets, I believe, probably don't last as long, right? They've got a, a, a lesser life range, uh, life range, lifespan. Um, these ones have got 300 seconds, so that's five minutes. And clearly the limpet doesn't need five minutes to uh, repair your ship. So you don't necessarily have to go for class fives like what I have. So probably a class threes. I don't know what the class ones will do. Uh, like this one it says you can have three at a time but it's kind of pointless isn't it because you can only use one at a time so let's check this out see what it is okay perfect there might be some wreckage in here being a combat aftermath that we can take to the search and rescue so perfect I know it says threat zero but that's currently if we can pick up any salvage so at least now apparently if I pick up salvage it won't be stolen we'll see What do we have? Mm, not really what I was looking for. And d despite all of that stuff, it's nothing that will synthesize chaff either. It was chaff, wasn't it? Was it chaff or heat sinks? Heat sinks. No, it was chaff. Yeah, compact and filament. Certainly not in a combat aftermath. Well, not this one anyway. Remember when we used to have to look for these? <laughs> I wonder how many of those I have. I don't know. Should I pick one up? Just while I'm here. Just for the hell of it. Sometimes, depending on how fast the ship is, I'll take all the pips off the engines. I don't know whether that makes it a bit, you know, just take it all off. Maybe makes it a little bit less punchy. So I don't end up destroying the damn thing if I miss. No, I don't think the self-repair is un unintentional, Steve. Because um, for wing repair, you can already do that with engineered lasers, right? uh, engineered weapons. You have a healing laser. Um, I would like to think that the, that, that the, that the self-repair is what it was intended for because it makes, it makes perfect sense for uh, exploration. <coughs> It seems to me, 
If I was going to have repair limpets, I would have them. Oh, there's a the thing though. Can you repair another ship? Like if I targeted another ship. If anybody wants to find that out and join me here at Shinrata, I'm in my private group and join me here and give themselves some damage or I'll give myself some damage, but I've already got the limpets. And then if I target you, I should be able to repair repair you. What here's the thing though. If I'm attacking an NPC and I get his hull down, can I just be weird and just send a repair limpet his way and fix his ship so we can carry on the fight? And also in those scenarios in in resource extraction sites, okay, where you see an innocent Type 7 or a Type 9 being attacked by a clipper, uh, and you take out the clipper and then you turn over to the Type 9 and repair his hull for him. Mm. Yeah, the AFM, but the AFM doesn't do the hull though, that's the thing. The, the AFM will repair your modules. And the only thing currently not repairable then is the power plant. If you're out in the black, you can repair your hull now, you can repair your modules, but you cannot repair your power plant, even with the ship uh, shut off. Which is okay, I'm kind of okay with that. Although I have to admit, when I'm out in the void, I do like to look at my modules and see 100% across the board. And it annoys me uh, in an OCD kind of way when I see power plants 97%. And everything else has been AFM repaired. Because I carry two AFMs, so they can also repair each other. Well, not repair each other. The second AFM replenishes the first one, and the first one repairs the, repairs the modules. That's how I kind of do it. I'm just going to land and, and redock, and then we're going to go into a... I'm flying a python at the moment, yeah. I'm in Shinrata Desra, Andy. Um, but you know, I can either do it with if somebody joins me here, or if um, if I can go to a uh, a resource extraction site and try and find some damaged NPCs. Excuse me while I just have a quick drinky. My throat is giving up. But it, yeah, it's interesting. I'm going to restock and refuel and all that stuff. Mm, here. So I'm going to take on another 20. It's plenty. It's plenty. And they're dead cheap. Let's just get that done. All right, let me have a quick look at the chat. Uh, cargo storage. Yeah, I've seen a couple of people on the forum ask for that. It would be handy, wouldn't it? Uh, that would make that so the 5A does just over five three hundred in repair, and the Python has a three fifty hull. Yeah, uh, yeah, three hundred and ten. Yeah. The Python has a three fifty hull. Hmm. Let me just take a look at my. So, is this when it says my armor health here? 464 and the limpet does 310 
that's the same two figures we're talking, right? My armor health against what the uh, what the limpet can repair to. That that looks like about right. Hi, William Berkeley. Welcome to the stream. It's been a long time no see for every for me and everyone here because it's yeah it's it's been a long time but it's it's I'm I'm happy and thankful that you know a lot of the regulars have, have come back and are still here and uh, I haven't abandoned ship I just needed a bloody break from it uh, and I think it's good because it's uh, yeah it's something I might do on a regular basis have a a three-week break every six months or something <laughs> thank you William but 2.4 is looking good they've made some good changes um, from an explorer's point of view certainly uh, combat not so much trading not so much mission board definitely uh, definitely some good changes there extra info tons of missions <sighs> look 24 here I mean the problem is, well, I say a problem. For me, I'm kind of uncomfortable with all these 3 million, almost 3 million credit boom dead to delivery missions to basically the same place. You know, I just pick them all up, make one visit, and bang, 10 million. Thank you very much. Look, 5.2. But is this tied to my to my rankings? I mean, I am I am trading elite, so I don't know whether this amount, like if if I was a newbie and saw this same mission, for example, I know it wouldn't be the same. Whether the credits would be less? Is this tied to my rank? If so, then that kind of makes sense. You're you're paying somebody who's who's elite at the job. But it seems that this 2.2, well, two and three quarter million, seems to be very, a very popular payout, uh, more or less. Exquisite crystals. We would like to yeah. All commanders to this facility. Like, just in these 24 missions, we've got one, two, three, four. I'm not going to count that one. Five, six, seven, eight, eight boom data deliveries at, at two and three quarter million each. So you've got what eleven million for every four you do. Have I worked that out right? Um, yeah, that's quite a that's quite a, a fair whack, I would say. <coughs> Uh, I'm just reading the chat again. For the safety of all visitors, Does anyone know if the engineers are fish lovers again? I don't see any reason why they would do that, right? I mean, there's there's not, nothing in terms of engineering. I don't think there's any new engineers that have appeared. <clears throat> so there's no reason to make them turn them all into fish lovers. But what I am interested in is the um, in the contacts is the search and rescue. I, I don't think you get this at every port, um, but I was hoping that it would be here at the uh, Pilots Federation. I've not seen local branch before. That's new. <coughs> Occupy the escape pods. Where can we pick one of those up from? Planet surface for sure. Hostages. I fancy a combat mission. Uh, let me just quickly check my, my map here. Okay, so Commander Long Wolfpack is here with me. Okay. 
I'm going to then just leave here. Uh, before I go, I'm going to pick a combat mission. Let's see if we can get any um, pirate lords or something. And see if I can take him out in the python. There's probably going to be none here now. Wet work gets you wanted though. That tends to be illegal. So I'm going to avoid that for now. Mm. And it's chain linked. <coughs> and it tells you straight away. As it should do. Oh, great. No pirate lords now. <coughs> they must come up um, less frequently then. Alright, I'll probably pick one up at a different station. In the interest of smooth traffic flow within the docking bay, we request the So <coughs> Mission filter. Yeah, I I've got them all I've got them all unfiltered. So they should all be all be there. Ugh. Oh, sorry, I'm just, my fingers are all over the numeric keypad here. Caution, Commander. Reckless flying will uh, result in sanction. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Did they not find me just now? Because normally you get fined straight away. I got a warning there, so... Just bent the aerial. Um... Okay, I'm going to just invite you into the wing so I know where you are. And for no apparent reason, I'll just turn my wing beacon on. See you later, Delta Gen 42. Thanks for coming along, man. Oh, okay. Uh, you're showing up as a solid. What's that all about? I've scanned you and you're still solid. It would make it would be cool if the, if all the ships were solid and only turned to hollow after you've like done what I just did and did a you know a point and scan. <laughs> um What's going on here? Why are you why are you solid? This is this is bugged, right? So whenever you're ready, Commander Lone Wolf Pack, which I, I don't know whether you're taking on repair limpets or which one of us is going to get damaged. I wonder if I can see a ship coming in with damage and just send a repair limpet his way. <laughs> you don't see that too often though, right? Ships coming in with damage. I mean, it happens, but... It's like so rare. Be on the lookout for heavy traffic. Steer clear of other vessels. Yeah. Thanks. You tell me that just as he goes past me. <clears throat> Let me just send him a message. <clears throat> uh, 
I'm pretty sure it's going to work uh, that I can simply target a ship that's damaged and just fire a repair limpet and just repair it. I don't see why not. Oh, he hasn't got any shields. I just target him anyway. I wonder if it counts as a... I'm inside the no-fire zone. So I wonder if firing a limpet counts as an infraction against that. Dare I find out? I dare, because it's beta. Is this uh, is the chat still working, guys, or is people just not typing? <laughs> I don't know. Right here he is. <coughs> um. <coughs> the Imperial Cutter there. What livery is that one then? Looking pretty cool. But it's worrying that you're not a hollow block. An assassination mission for 18 billion, yeah. Not not bugged then, eh? That's ridiculous. Who'd you have to kill? David Braben? Or Lurg, Lord of the Thargoids? Eighteen billion. Yeah, I'll tell you what, anybody taking that on, that's got to be a bug. I can see Frontier whipping that money away. Are you getting my messages? Oh, I'm getting the wrong screen. I don't know what he's carrying. In terms of the repair, hmm. yes, but one of us needs to attain some damage, unless you want, unless we smack into each other. Yeah, we can. One of us can have the shields on, and one of us not. So, in patch 2, hollow, hollow boxes for commanders again, surely. Open play is going to be fun, isn't it? Right, are we going to do something here? Because yeah, it's kind of weird that that uh, everything's solid. I don't know why that's happened. Right, I'll tell you what. Uh, Andy, can you... Are you able to repair? Can you repair me if I get damage? Or am I going to repair you? Yeah, I can. Uh, hi Sarah, I'm going to assume Sarah Berkeley, and greetings from the Mediterranean, and from me, Rusty Dog. There you go. That's the first time I've had a shout out. <laughs> okay, so your shields are down. Okay, so if you, I'll just uh, give you a little bit of damage then. 
All right. And I will now send a limpet your way. There it goes. I'm trying to. Oops, that's not going to work. I'm trying to. Sorry. Yeah. Well, don't comply then. Okay, he's getting repaired. Woohoo! I'm I'm get. Oh, he's got his own. I'm guessing um, that. I don't know. Only if it's with a bigger ship you can. Like the repair for a cutter would take longer and do less than it would say on an eagle. I mean, you would expect, right? I'm already repaired. It doesn't do shields, just hull and canopy. So if I untarget everything. How do I. Like, if I'm targeting you and then I, I press my backspace to untarget, and I've got the repair. Because uh, I want to be able to repair, repair myself. Can you... Hold on. This is going to be... Uh, I'm going to risk my ship here. Uh, so I don't know what weapons you have, but... <laughs> Let's have a look. I'm going to take my shields down. Right, Andy, if you can target my canopy, I want to see how it puts all the glass back in, you know? Oh, and hold on. Uh, to synthesize life support. Right, so what I can do here is have my canopy blown out. Um, and then, if that works, to do a resupply on the life support and then eventually do a, a repair afterwards. So if you can target my canopy and just try and blow it out, uh, I would appreciate that. <laughs> That's the first and last time I'm ever going to say that in Elite Dangerous. Oh yeah, of course the base hull is, is bigger. That's right. It's not an option. Oh, the canopy is not an option. Okay. Oh, right. I thought it was. It's not a subsystem then. Okay. Damn. Uh, hold on. Don't kill me, though. Yeah, okay. And here it comes. See, this is cool. If you take friendly fire, you can then say, Sorry, mate. And then send the repair limpet over and... What the hell? Oh. <laughs> You've got the cops on you, man. Go, go, go. Get out of here. How the hell did you get wanted? We're outside the zone. Oh my god. Isn't the canopy targeted by attacking the life support? Yeah, uh, yeah, there you go. I thought it could be done. Why is he getting attacked from here though? Well, he hasn't killed me, so it's only going to be, what, nine minutes? He can jump to another system and then nine minutes he'll be, he'll be able to come back. I certainly wasn't expecting that, because we're outside of the no-fire zone. <laughs> you need to leave, man. <laughs> Hang on. I don't know what the range is for the limpets, but we're going to find out now. I guess having class fives will help here, maybe. I don't know. Oh, what the hell? 
Why is that? Oh, did he jump? Oh, he's jumped. He's jumped. <coughs> what timing. Well, back to Jameson for me, but that's really good. So they're just for general, they can repair any ship then, I guess. Even the enemy. It's for anti-griefers. Oh, combat logged. Okay, I, I won't tell anybody. It never happened. Oh yeah, I always have report crimes on. Yeah, it's just out of habit. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Andy. You turn hollow when you have weapons out. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, but, wait a minute, but why? Surely having the weapons out is when the, your, your blip turns into a triangle. They already had something for that. Blips turning into triangles means means your weapons are out they can't just change it like that I'm, I'm used to triangles so it's either a solid square then or a hollow triangle is that is that what we're looking at now I'm not sure what the point of that is but hey let's change ships The only thing in combat I'm interested in seeing is that ships will not attack you with missiles until your shields are down. Oh, hold on. I need to... Because otherwise I'll forget to do that. Still have to repair. Oops, wrong one. Uh, probably quicker to go this way. There we go. Well, I haven't been in this thing. Have you guys... Okay. Have you guys seen the... Um, the gold... The gold paint jobs. I quite like the one for the Corvette. I don't know if I'd use it though, but I certainly like the one on the um, SRV. But I really can't get it right now because things are that tight at the moment, so I can't purchase anything right now. Uh, okay, Corvette. You did not request a testing permit for close range blasting at base. <laughs> what happens in beta stays in beta, yeah, exactly. I don't know if I'm. I don't know if I quite like the uh, the hollow block thing. I don't quite like. I mean, commanders are meant to be hollow, hence the phrase "hollow me." No, no, maybe not. Okay, so I might not participate right now. Maybe, but I want to take on this uh, this thing. <coughs> Earn a special beta test decal by delivering Thargoid carapaces. That's it. I don't know. Thargoid energy sources, Thargoid organic circuitry, or Thargoid technology components. Where the hell do you get those from? 
for contributing to the 2.4 beta with like your special ship decal to verify your partition please deliver at least one unit of the following materials from the thargoid structure on Comaboy A1 right so if I go to Comaboy A1 do we know where this is is it do I have to pee about getting the coordinates right do we already have coordinates with this? Is, is this a known Thargoid structure already? I guess I'll sign up and find out a bit later. I don't know whether... Um... Now that's interesting, guys. Look at the time on there. Two weeks and three days. So... Does that answer the question about how long the beat is going to take? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Perhaps. And it would seem I have a lot of contacts to... But nothing here. A lot of... I have a lot of bounties, not contacts. <coughs> um... Whoa, sound failure. Okay, we're back. That was weird, it just fell silent for a moment. I just thought that might have been a bit wrong. The CG lasts until September the 3rd. Alien autopsy. Yeah, alien organic circuitry. Wow. It sounds like um, Elite Dangerous' version of the Borg. And yes, I know. Hold on. <coughs> you see... I, I, not having played for a while, I'm questioning whether these things I've always seen. This here, this white ring around here, was that there before? All lit up like that? I've got no idea whether that was like that before. I certainly don't recall that. Anyway, we're in beta, so full shields and let's try. Oh yes, Corvette straight out. I still got it. <laughs> a little bit trickier with a cutter, I would imagine. Now where is this? Okay, it's up there. Is is Cormavoy a known Oh hold on. Let me pop into the sys map. Right, and the and the Thargoid thing is here, but I don't know if this is a brand new base that's just come up for this community goal, or if this is one that's in the list of known Thargoid bases. And if it is, maybe we should go there. And there are a few ringed planets here as well, so there's likely, at least if nothing else, to be... Uh, resource extraction sites. Four hundred and sixty four contributors already. Now here it doesn't tell you um, like it does on the mission board. It doesn't tell you the distance to the system or the distance to the station. So perhaps they should add that here as well. Uh, Fatini, are you still on the uh, on the chat? Yeah. 
It's redirecting me to that base. Oh, because that base is where you deliver the stuff to. Right. <coughs> um. I don't... Oh, we're already here. I don't know the uh, coordinates to the Thargoid base, though. I'm just going to have a quick browse and see if I can find it. Uh. <laughs> Google's asking me, did I mean elite como voy, as in Spanish? No, that's not what I meant. No, it's just mentioned planetary bases. It's not mentioning Thargoid stuff. So I don't know how easy or difficult it is to find. <laughs> I think I'm, I think I'm coming into a dead end here because this is uh, searching around the planet. It's not something I want to do on the live stream, to be honest. But as a community goal, if it's kind of highlighted or shown in any way, <laughs> I'll be straight there. And pick up one of those alien autopsies. So I don't really want to go to the base, do I? Here we go. Beta unknown structure. Thank you very much. I'm just locking it down to the blue, uh, uh, the cruise control, this blue, until I find out the distance. And there it is. Great. It tells us straight away. So I'm going to participate and get this decal. I've never had a special decal before, and I bloody want one. So let's take a look at this then. This will be a good way to finish the stream up as well. Okay, it looks like we're coming in a little too quickly at the moment, but I'm going to go down to the first blue. There we go. And I'm in my private group, so I should be left alone. So, I need any of those. Carapace, energy source, organic circuitry, or technology components. Uh, and I do have my SRV, and I have my controller plugged in, so I'm going to throttle right down now until the speed drops, and then back up to the first blue, just to avoid the... Uh, come on, hurry up. To avoid the... Uh, too fast glide which I tend to do on a regular basis these days or in them days three weeks ago I have a nasty habit of uh, getting the glide too fast so great it just tells us where it is and we're going to go straight there I wonder if it looks the, it's the same as the one we were on last time Two game crashes already, wow. So far I'm lucky then. Uh, and Andy, if you want to log back in and feel free to join me here for the community goal, man, or anybody, by all means, bring your ship along. I think I've got a pretty good glide here. 35 is okay. Oh yes. Okay, yeah, you see, we, we're quite a distance up, but... And the gravity 0.7. Alien holding up fingers for peace symbol. Greetings, commanders. Welcome to Carapace's R.S. 
greetings. <laughs> that would be great if uh, Cornelius did the Thargoid voice. Greetings. This is the Thargoids. Yes, this is a very uh, similar looking thing. Oh, but wait a minute, this isn't going to be that easy, right? Because do I not need to bring ancient probes and stuff to open the doors? Uh, or is there anything out? I'm guessing all of this alien stuff uh, is outside. Let me just nose it up. Do you have your UAM probe? No, I don't. It's a bit late now. But at least we get some visuals. Oh my god. No, I don't. I don't have my stuff. And I'll be honest, I really can't be bothered to go and get some. It's just too much. Not after last time. Is this the same as the last one? This structure? Let me just take a look from up above. That looks like a bloody serpent's head. Okay, let's have a look from... I don't know if we can do it from here. Let's increase the speed. There we go. I don't know how high we can get here. Uh, oh, okay. That's just around the outside. And I need to be there. Yeah. Kill the scavengers. They drop the stuff you need. Shoot the scavengers. and Great. Shoot the alien flying things. <laughs> okay. Alien flying things, where are you? I have a blip on my radar. I'm guessing that's not an alien flying thing. But no, so... I'm probably going to need less weapons. I think I've got a little bit too much there. Am I coming? I am. I'm descending here. I'm going to need less so probably fire group 2 will take care of that and then I can just shoot the smaller weapons yeah let's switch into fire group 2 because 1 is just like everything look at that shot with the sun there how cool is that that's quite quite a landscape right there okay let's go and shoot some flying aliens I am very curious to see what this is. It looks like it's lit up and yee! I didn't realize I was so close to the ground. Okay. Right, flying thingies. Do I do this from my ship or SRV or what? You need to get into your SRV to shoot them and then pick up the bomb. Okay. Thank you. You guys are all so far ahead of me. I've only been to one of these bases and then that was it really. So I'm a bit out of touch with this stuff. But I will get back on it. No, oh, it's going upwards, so... I need, I'm trying to find a parking space here. Yes, yes, yes. My shields are good. Come on. That is such a cool shot with that sun right there. Uh, I suppose. Now, okay, let me see if I can back this off. I can see I'm right in the middle of the donut, and that's probably where I, I really want to be. But 
Yeah, beta noobs. <laughs> I put myself in that category. I'm not gonna get a I'm not gonna get a spot here, am I? That's some hellish terrain I've got to get over then. <sighs> this happened last time, there was just nowhere to park and then suddenly you find that you can park right right next to the, 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 the base. But this looks different to the, to the last one, right? And in such a big ship, The graphics look good around here, but I'm not going to be able to get a space here, am I? I do have a fighter, yes. But I would rather drop this down if possible. Oh, wait a minute, yeah. Um. No, no, I'll use, I'll use this ship if I can. I've never... I, oh, oh, got one. Um, I've never used a fighter, like, in this kind of environment. There we go. If I can drop it down here without it changing its mind. Come on, be nice. And I hope my SRV controls work. Two fighters, two scarabs. All right, <coughs> picking up the Xbox game controller, which I find the best method to control this damn thing. All right, it's working. Oh. Wow, look at that shot! <laughs> oh, beautiful. I've got to be further from the ship. If I fire at one, do they all fire at me? Hello. Can you do you mind just going a little bit further away from the ship so I can kill you? Hey, hey. Come here. You're too close. Or I park too close. Aha, gotcha. Come here. I know you've you've only got to pick up one. Targoid tech components, great. <coughs> oh, I tell you, man, the Xbox controller is brilliant for the for the SRV. Come on. <coughs> I'm trying to drive him away, so I can use my my weapon. Go on. Oh, look at the spinning disc he had there. Organic circuitry. I got you. I'm so close to the ship. Where is he up here? No, I think I've gone. There he is. Thargoid energy cell. Come here. 
<laughs> I love it that you're gonna chase it down the hill. Right, hold on. I've definitely got um I've definitely got plenty there and there in the materials. Does it I'm guessing it comes under materials, right? Dun 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 Thargoid. Uh okay. So this is when you want to get rid of some of your materials that you don't need now. So you can contribute to the CG. But this is great because you can get here really easy. Because it's, it's labelled and the place you have to take it to is just uh, pretty much just above you. So I'm just going to take a look around because this looks like it could be... Yeah, it looks great. I... I've got to give um, Frontier credit for the visuals. They are supremely good. And what on earth? Oh, they've even got those little things, look. I mean, really? Look at that. <laughs> it's pretty cool, eh? I'll have to use one of these. I might have to change the uh, thumbnail on this video. <coughs> he went underground looking for a beta bug. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to. I'm going to scan around now for more um, stuff. Wow. Okay. Oh, I need to target that damn thing. What is it? Mining fragment. Can you blow that up? That's inside the structure, right? And there's a... <coughs> there's another one. Sulfur. Do, do you only get a certain amount of scavengers, like the, the like the ones I've killed, um, and then that's it. You've got to take that lot back, and then come back again. Like you can't just sit here filling up a thousand or five hundred materials. I'm just going to get a screenshot here, obviously, um, and then come back again. Maybe only allowed a limited amount. Yeah. Not the easiest thing to do from there. And neither was that. <coughs> um, oh, now, which way? I've got to go back the other way. Yeah, it's doing me in here. I like how some of the surface is shiny, but not all of it. Aha! Oh, too close to the ship again. Well, I can't jump over the Corvette, forget that. Because they, they disabled that. Hey, hey, go over here. Right, I can deploy from here, but I don't know if I can hit him. Oh, at least target the guy, there we go. Come on, come on over, he's running away. He's over the over the hill and far away. Okay. 
tensor fragment. That wasn't part of the deal, but I'll take it. Okay, it's still working. I'm loving the visuals here. That mini, that, whoa. Handbrake on. That, that mini um, Thargoid flowery look underneath it has. I like that. I don't know where that thing went. I don't know where it rolled to. Damn. Another sensor fragment. Well, I've got enough, so I'm going to take some back. Um, when I take it back, it will at least mean that I've got my decal, right? I just have to return one of them. But, oh, I tell you what, getting a parking space again. Hello, Alan Beaumont. Welcome to the stream, man. I'm going to see if I can find another scavenger. I just want one more Thargoid thingy. But I'll only have a couple of goes. Scavenger there, but... Okay, I wonder if he's... Oh, they're probably inside though, right? Done some good uh, asset asset modeling and stuff like that here, and having that sun so close just sets off the atmosphere perfectly. Although not literally an atmosphere, but you know what I mean. The ambience of the place. I don't know why, when I'm looking at the holograph of that organic structure, it looks like an Imperial Star Destroyer just up on its end. That's yeah, that's what my brain sees. Oh, hold on. Yeah, we got one. There's a fumarole, or whatever it is. Thargoid tech. Hello, scavenger. That's enough. And what was that behind me? There we go. Back to the ship then. There she is. And we'll go and deliver this. So yeah, that's the that's the uh, community goal that's available in the beta, and as you can see, it's pretty easy to get the stuff. Thankfully, I didn't have to get any stuff to go into the base, and of course, you can uh, take them back to Comavoy and or whatever that base is. We'll see in a minute, and that will um, that will get you your special decal.
Whoa! It just crashed. Yoo-hoo! Uh, I don't, I don't know if they fire back. I'm just going to fire this game up again, guys. It's just, it just bloody crashed. Uh, so I'm just going to fill in the form about to. Uh, I just put, I was going to put about to dock, and I put about to dick. So yeah, or maybe I'll just leave that in there. Um, okay, so we'll send that. I always like to send the error report because why not? A couple of seconds. Uh, and let's launch again. Uh, make sure we launch the right one. So, okay, there you go. There's the first crash. Oh, you didn't get your decal? Well, you know you can um, you can ticket them, or you can at least mention it, and they will sort it out. Your crashes are usually on the community goal in open. Yeah, I, I should have started this in open, but... I didn't really want any interference while I was explaining anything on the stream, but I don't mind being an open through the beta, it doesn't matter to me. <coughs> I've got enough money for rebuys for anything, and also, um, you know, none of it none of it gets passed over, as you know. So as you can see here, uh, you do get the um, this as well, a fast start option for New Horizons Commanders. We'll start at Austin Town Station in ARC. There is a test community goal linked to a near, this is a separate thing. There is a test community goal linked to a nearby unknown structure in Commavoy, which is what we've just done. Those who participate in the beta community goal will earn an exclusive testers decal in a future update. So, okay. I'm not going to go into open play here though. <laughs> um, although I should be back in the ship. Yeah, come on, let's give it a go. Well, I've got my materials, so... Hmm. YouTube is crashing, freezing to have to back up a forward browser to reload stream. Hmm. Oh, it, I am in my thingy. Oh, Christ. What if I'm stuck in an endless loop now? I've got to recall my ship, yeah? <sighs> oh, no, it might still be there. Or not. How far away? Oh, great. 2.6 clicks. Oh, where are you going? Well, the bark of Merlin has just abandoned me. You son of a... Thanks. Shit recalled. Shit recalled, yeah. A certain wizard is trolling in open. Yeah, well, you know what? Let him, because in the beta, don't matter. He can do what he likes. It's all pointless. So he's just wasting his pointless life anyway. Was that a bit too harsh? I don't care. Stay there. Stay there. Don't. You don't have to land. I'll, I'm coming. Don't. Don't even bother docking. Oh, I suppose I'm going to get in the way now. Nice parking space, by the way. I should have let you control the first one. But that's not possible. Oh, what was I saying about nice parking space? Is that the... <laughs> I don't think I can fit under there now. Ah, there are times when you need hydraulic suspension. Okay, I think we can... Might just be able to squeeze in here. Yeah, we can do it. Well done.
I have to check that I've got all my Thargoid stuff on board, otherwise... Um, so Harry Potter will be here, will he? Parking is limited. <laughs> yeah. But Harry Potter's got his own special parking, just like they're having shopping car parks. Right, and uh, materials. Yeah, we got it. Okay, it's still there. So, system map then. And we're taking it to Silver's Dock. Which is... Ooh. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Up we go then. Well, alien Thargoid structure thingy, I will be back. Not on this stream, but I will be back. I'll, I'll put some more in. At least I've contributed a little. I've got a feeling if people are going to grief anywhere, it'll be outside of Silver's Dock, right? Mm. Whoa, a bit of audio loss there. Well, it'll be interesting to see... what exactly goes on. If I get killed, I really don't care. Apart from the fact I end up back at Shinrata, right? Because I... Uh, Jameson, because I didn't... Yeah. I don't lose this. And the rebuy is 18. Yeah, 18 million. And I can afford it, so... Bring it on. Whoa. I'm just slightly off target at the moment because... I can see the uh, the door is on the left there. And I probably need to just knock it down a little bit there. Yes, it would be typical of uh, the wizard to be, uh, you know, outside of Sylvie's dock. Just got nothing better to do than yeah, I'll leave it there because I don't like to invoke foul language into my streams, even though I am a prolific swearer normally. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> I don't have filters. Okay, it looks like we're okay. Main Ooh. Maintain decorum, eh? Alright, I'll maintain decorum. God, I, I need to change my anti-aliasing settings, because on that grill it's just really bad. What the hell was that? Is that the Thargoid stuff I've got on board? Warning, Commander. Landing gear not deployed. What on earth is that noise? It's like church bells being rung by somebody on drugs. Wow. No fish. Okay, thanks, Andy. I didn't think there would be. Can you guys hear me okay over this racket? Where do I hand it in? Here? Or do you hand it in here? I don't know. I've forgotten. 
tubular bells. God, I've not listened to that for a while. Science and research contact. Oh, thank you, man. Science and research and search and rescue. Whoa. Six of those, nine of those, three of those, and nine of those. Oh, what, you have to do one, one at a time? Welcome to the Thargoid Bell Ringers Association. Oh, that's, that's going to update in a little while, I think. Oh, let's get the hell out of here. Steve, what did you just say? Oh, retracted, okay. <laughs> this is terrible. Ship released. You may proceed when ready. Yeah. Here are your paracetamols. See, the ring isn't lit up here as much. Okay. Oh, what a racket. Oh, Christ. I saw that ship coming in and I boosted. Wow! That was noisy. Is that the, uh, is that, I wonder if that's the crater at the base, just right there. Yep, that's the crater, you can't miss it. Although I don't know um, how quick this planet's going around, but that's not going to be, oh will it? You're right then, as soon as he deployed weapons, it became hollow. And he's going to assume I'm going to the unknown structure. Oh, hold on. Rusty dog meets stray dog. And he's in a wing of two. Chloe Isabella Sophia Correa. Okay. Or Correa, whichever, wherever she's from. Should I interdict? <laughs> no, he's clean, he's all right. Uh, part of the effort against the, Gre the Griefers? I don't know, wouldn't it work, wouldn't it work for them rather than against them? Let's go in, see what's going on in here. I don't know, it seems like it would work for them because like you wouldn't know they were coming kind of thing, you know? Are you wanted? Yeah, come on, let's just... I haven't killed anybody for a while. I think I can just go 2-2-2 two, two, two on this with the pips.
Oof, miles off. Bye bye. But none of those, none of those composites or nothing. So I'm still going to find out. Yeah, I'm going to be interested to find out. I don't think I'm. I want to quite look up yet where you can get those uh, composites from. I think I'd like to try and find out for myself. Hmm. I haven't seen them on any missions yet, and I haven't been in enough in enough USSs to to know. Let's see if this is updated now then. No tons collected. Yeah. Did I do something wrong? Can't target hollow squares deliberately to kill commanders. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I get that. I, I guess it's it would work that way. Yeah. Why have I got no tons? And why does it say tons then? Does each one? Does it? I mean, does each one of those materials count as a ton, or do I have to collect so many of them before it makes a ton? And if so, it should say not point something, or it hasn't updated. Rusty dog, no tons collected. Hmm. Oh yeah, so that guy, by deploying his weapons, let people know that he was a commander, right? But he wouldn't have seen me as a commander because I didn't deploy my weapons. Right. Well, guys, that is a three-hour stream, and I think we've covered everything. What's in what's in the patch? Really, uh, we've done the community goal, and we've looked at the fantastic new galaxy map, which looks exactly the same but is functionally much better. Thankfully, God, this was. I mean, like this, this long distance clicking that. Oh, I'm so glad that's back. Oh, you got no idea. <laughs> that was such a pain to have that broken. And I actually thought that Frontier had done that deliberately and that was the new way and I, oh, that was just going to kill me. But I can now target Shinrata straight from, well, from, well, not from there because it's too cluttered now. Um, but yeah, I think we've covered everything. So I'll probably do a video. Um, maybe before next Friday, maybe midweek or something. Um, yeah. But this is good. This is seriously good. I am really liking this. Uh, oh, just before I go, just before I go. I think uh, we already did this though, didn't we? We got really close to 20,000 and plotted the route and it was actually really good I mean this uh, speed wise I mean if we get it I think we got 19.8 yeah let's just nip it a bit further out I mean when you think of all these look at all these possibilities around that it has to calculate your best route and if I do something like well, as, as far out as I can get, that's that's not 20, 10, 20 k. Should we should we settle on that one? Okay. So if I just plot this route now without using any, uh, without using any jet cone boosts, because uh, there's got to be neutron stars along the way here. So, and what about if I filter? Oh, okay. Let me just uh, see if I can time this. Because I want to try it by also filtering out so there's only scoopable stars and see if it can still get there and how much longer 
or how much quicker it takes. 15 seconds in. I still think that's quick though. I'm quite happy to wait that amount of time to plot that kind of distance. Coming up to 30 seconds. This is slower than it took before though, but we are in the dense middle of the galaxy. So it doesn't surprise me that it's slowing down at the end. It doesn't surprise me at all. 40 seconds. Okay, so 40, 42, 43 seconds. Right? And that is 1,122 jumps. 1122. Two. Nice and easy to remember. Oh crap. Yep, that's my fuel start. That's when I'm going to run out of fuel. So, yeah. And there it is. And I can click it from that distance. Oh, beautiful. Going back to 2.3 now and not having that feature available is going to be a killer. Right, so including now any neutron stars that we would pass through and including their boost and replotting the route. So I guess we need to clear the route and replot. And just see how many jumps it knocks off this time. <laughs> nine, 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 yeah, I, I should have gone that further. I, I, I thought you might. Yeah, this is definitely the best galactic map we've ever had. I mean, obviously, but I wouldn't have said that if they hadn't put that being able to click on something from a long distance bug back in. Uh, if they'd fix, if they hadn't fixed that bug, I wouldn't have said that. But right now, the, the galactic map's fantastic, and I didn't time this. Can you believe it? I didn't time this one. I, that might have been a bit quicker. So 1,122 jumps, but going by uh, using neutron stars with boost, it's the same. No, yeah, no. Is it going to change its mind? Are you telling me it's not going to pass through any any ne uh, neutron stars in between? Really? I'm not buying that. If we pull back out again, and once again click up here, lovely. But now we're going to filter, and I will time this one. Uh, we're going to filter by star class, and we're just going to use KGB foam, so from L down, and apply that filter to the root. Ah, oh, clear, thank you. All right, so I'm going to time this one from now. I don't know if it caches any data from previous root plotting to make the next root plot faster. I don't know. But this is certainly quicker. Which means every jump on this route now is going to be a scoopable star. Hmm. 25 seconds. Is it slowing down as it gets into the dense, uh, the dense part of the galaxy now? Thirty-five seconds. Come on, forty. Yeah, it's longer, but not by much. Forty-five seconds. So three seconds longer than it did without the filter. And how many jumps now? Wow, it's another 109, isn't it? 109 extra jumps. But you're not going to run out. You're not, if you, as long as you've got a fuel scoop, you're going to be safe. But I'd rather take the risks. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. Right, so my only worry then is this, why I don't have any, any tons to my name. Is that because I didn't appreciate the music that was playing in the dock? I don't know. Do I? Do you have to collect so many to make a ton? I don't know that either. But what did I put in? 20, about 22 things? 22 items? Uh, 
these materials, da -da 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 -da. to earn the beta tickle, you must sign up, blah, 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 blah. I've done that before delivering. Obviously, I've done that. Hmm. Be aware that faction state changes, UA bombing and other disruptive events can negatively impact markets and station services and should prevent the initiative from running smooth and could prevent the initiative from running smoothly. Yes. And tier one hasn't been unlocked despite 12,000 tons collected. So it tells me there's something might be wrong there. Well, I'm going to leave my ship. Yeah, it might be bugged. I mean, I can see this getting a patch tomorrow uh, on Friday. I can I can see patch or beta two coming out tomorrow to patch some of these things. Uh, the community girl's gonna. If that is a bug, it's gonna have to get patched. Is it a bug? Needs to read as count, not tons. Yeah, exactly. It's, they're not tons. Those things I picked up. I d ah, well. You see, that I thought they got rid of tons and they were referring to things as units. Uh, like in the ship cargo. It's not tons, it's just as capacity in order 1 to 8. I think they're just referred as units now. Because... You know, it didn't make sense, but every, everything that to be picked up or dropped off was exactly a ton. It didn't really make uh, too much sense. <coughs> uh, okay. So, yeah, I'm going to go back down to the uh, Thargoid base tomorrow and pick up some more stuff. But before I do that, I'm going to make sure that it's... You know, I'm going to find out whether it is bugged or not. Because if it is, I'm not going to bother. Um, but yeah, so that is a three hour, three and a half hour almost look at 2.4. And it's good to be back. And it's good to see all you guys back again. And yeah, I'm going to do the usual. Please leave a like or subscribe or whatever and support the channel. And then I'll be more inclined to get off my ass and make more videos <laughs> I will I promise I, I keep a good eye on the uh, on the subscriber count um, yeah so okay guys it's been a pleasure as it always is and I think I might do if the changes are substantial enough I, I might do a video every time a new patch comes out um, it won't be a live stream, I don't think, but probably an offline video. I think certainly every time, yeah, I think I'll do that one on every on every patch until release. And then when the release is out, boy, stand by for a seven hour live stream, eh? Should we do one? Should we do, should we do a seven hour live stream on the 2.4 release, on the actual release? We'll go Thargoid hunting. The problem is, doing that like if they release 2.4 and I say okay tonight we'll do a live stream no one's going to be here because everyone's going to be wanting to play 2.4 so there's going to be nobody around they're going to want to discover stuff for themselves and not watch me kind of spoil it for them you know so it's probably not a good idea to do a live stream maybe I think what I would do is let the 2.4 get released uh, and then wait three, four, five days uh, so people have played it, you know, done a few things, and then I'll do a video because I don't want to. I don't want to spoil things for people, you know, find stuff out and spoil things for people. I don't think that's fair. Um, uh, other streamers might do that, but I, yeah, that's not my. I don't want to do that because I know it's going to be a big reveal and there's going to be new stuff coming. Um, so yeah. And likewise, I'm not going to watch. If somebody does put out a live stream on the day, I won't be watching it. I don't care whose it is. I want to find out this stuff for myself, you know what I mean? So I can see how that would work if I did If I did one. So, yeah, no live stream on the release. It's going to be a few days after so that people have discovered stuff. 
I think that's fair. So, yeah, good three hours there, and uh, seven hours a short one. Yeah, you know me. Oh, Fatini, yeah, before I go, about the power play. Um, because I've been away for three weeks, obviously, I've been with... Uh, I've been allied to my power now for more than four weeks. Uh, but what I don't know is how to buy or attain the merits required to get the advanced plasma accelerator. So for the for the vulture. So if you can let me know either online next time I'm on, or I don't know if you have my email. Um, X. Yeah, it's the letter X. Rusty Dog X. It's just Rusty Dog with X on either side of it at gmail.com. You can send me an email or something or whatever. Um, yeah, I just need to know how to get the merits to get the thing. You drop me an email. Cool. Uh, all right. And if anybody else wants to drop me an email for a chat, you just got my email address. Go for it. Pleasure, guys. And yeah, we're back. 2.4 Elite Dangerous and let it carry on as being as good as it is at the moment. I will see you then. This is Rusty Dog, signing off. Goodbye.